Hey guys, it's Nina Soul with Spiritual Vibes again. Um, so I know yesterday I said I was gonna post a video with my big announcement and I had started the video and um, I just decided I'm gonna redo the whole thing because uh, friends ended up popping up uh, and the video just got inappropriate so <laughs> uh, I'm gonna redo it you know it's just gonna be me today uh, me and the boys I have the boys with me my two dogs they are riding him back um, so you guys will probably see them like later on once we get to where we're going and I do my announcement video then uh, you guys will you know get to see them uh, right now I have Armani in his seatbelt it's like and you know I really recommend that you get your dog seat belts or car seats um, Louis still needs a car seat but Armani has a seat belt so it's a harness it's a harness and uh, it's like the front the chest part is like soft and like um, like it has like a soft material on the front on the inside and hold on one second I'm gonna put the air on because it's really nice out today it's really nice out today but um, I don't want to have the windows down because otherwise you guys aren't gonna be able to hear me so I'm gonna put the air on that way the boys get some air and stuff like that in the back I don't want them to get um, too hot so uh, what was I saying oh yeah the harness thing the harness and I'll, I, I'll have to get I'll have to get like the name of it and I'll, I'll put it like in the in the box below I'll put it down there that way you guys can um, you know see what type of seatbelt it is because it's a harness and then on the back of it it has it has like a, a loop like a it looks like a handle but you can use it as a handle to like hold them like to walk him from the house to the car and um, but that loop is actually where the seatbelt um, the seatbelt goes through and then you buckle it in like oh shit oh I almost ran that hold on let me back up a little bit okay the lights over here fucking change quick as hell like it goes it'll be green and then it'll go yellow red <laughs> like shit give me a second so um anyway yeah uh so you would put the seatbelt through the loop and then <laughs> snap it in stop and you would snap it in and it keeps it keeps them buckled in so um it's nice because like it's fun to it's fun to take your dogs for rides and everything like that but if they're causing you a distraction while you're driving um, like I mean some people think it's cute to ride with your dogs in your lap and um, to uh, have your dogs like right in your face right on the side of you which is really dangerous because they cause a distraction you know and, and I mean they're not trying to but they do they cause a distraction you can get into a car accident that way um, another reason why I recommend that you use seatbelts for your dogs is because um, because if you get into an accident they they could get hurt really bad you know they could get hurt really bad and um, say say you got hurt and your dogs got hurt they're gonna take you off to the hospital and they're probably just gonna leave the dog in the car I don't know what they do for the dog if, I mean, they're not going to take the dog to the hospital, too, you know? So, um, I'm assuming that they would just leave the dog there or call, I don't know, I don't know what they would do, but I worry about things like that because my dogs are not, for me, my dogs are not, like, uh, I know some people get, um, you know, dogs for protection and stuff like that. Not me. I have, I have a pit bull and I have a chiweenie, and... I did not get, well obviously I didn't get the Chiwini for protection, he was, I rescued him and then my pit bull, I adopted him from a rescue. And when I had gotten him, my intentions were never 
my intentions were never to use him as to as a protection, like as protection for me. He does that on his own because I'm his mommy. You know, I'm his mommy and he protects me. He, he knows not to let anybody, he doesn't even like people walking past our car. Like as we're driving, I don't know if you guys heard him like woof, like right now, like a little bit ago, there was somebody crossing the street. He doesn't like people to come close to our car. Um, and it's, it is kind of nice because over here in Chicago, there's, um, you know, there's homeless people that they'll walk up to your car and ask you for money and stuff like that. And most of them, I mean, most of the homeless people, they're not a threat to you at all. You know, they're just trying to, trying to get some money and that's it. You know, like, like homeless people are not bad people and you shouldn't be afraid of all of them. But there are uh, a couple bad ones, you know, there are a couple ones that will rob you um, because some of them do some a lot of them that are out here on the streets are um, they have, you know, addiction problems and they're just looking for money to be able to feed their addiction. And when they're not getting change put in their cup, then they get desperate and they'll they will rob you. So um, when I have him with me, he doesn't like people getting close to the close to the car, um, and he does get protected. But it's not nothing that I taught him, and it wasn't my. That's not what I had gotten him for. I got him because I've had pit bulls all my life, and it takes it takes a, an experienced person, somebody that that really knows these dogs, to be able to. Um, to understand them because they are misunderstood and there's a lot of um, shit going around that pit bulls are, are vicious and they're bloodthirsty and all these all, all this shit you know just the same thing as and um, you know just just like how us witches how we get shit you know how people judge us and how they you know they talk shit about us pit bulls are the same thing so a witch and her pit bull you know like I, I get that. I understand that. I I go through the same thing that Armani goes through. I'm judged just the same way as he's judged. And um, like I said, I've had pit bulls all my life. So I'm very, I, I know the breed. I know them. I know how they act. I know, um, you know, I, I, I know them. I know how to handle them. And... Um, yeah, like I said, I didn't get Armani because I wanted him for protection. I got a gun to protect my boys because if anybody ever broke into our house and tried to hurt my dogs, I will shoot somebody. So Armani protects me and I protect him and Louis too. Louis my baby. Um, I don't have any kids. Uh, me and Gilo, we we just we've only been married for two years, so um, we're still trying to get ourselves um, situated. We want to, you know, have things going for ourselves first, and um, and things like that before we actually try to like you know start bringing kids into the world. And I am 30 years old. I'm 30 years old, and it's funny because me and my cousin we. Are, like the, my cousin that I always talk about she's like my best friend she's my cousin um, we're the same age and it, it's funny because we're like the only two people that we know that don't have kids yet that are our age because everybody else is already on their like fourth fifth kid and stuff like that but we are so focused in um, making something out of ourselves that we're we're waiting to, um, you know, to have babies. We're waiting. And I know Jilo's the perfect, he's the perfect guy. He's the perfect guy for me to have kids with. He'd be the perfect father. He's an amazing husband um, in all sort of ways. And I am truly, truly blessed to have him as my partner, my partner in crime, <laughs> my lifelong partner. I... I couldn't have asked for I couldn't have asked for more like he's he's amazing and we're happy we're happy we have you know our, our two dogs that we treat them like our kids 
you know, we treat them like our children. They're spoiled. Um, I know it's not a good thing, but we just, we love them so much. And we don't, like I said, we don't have kids and we're not like, it's not something that like bothers us that we don't have kids right now because we know what we're trying to do and we're happy and we're satisfied with what we do have. Let's see if there's any parking up here. Sorry, you guys. I gotta. I'm gonna parallel park right now, so shit's gonna get real right now. I need like I turn the radio down and everything. Like I don't play. Let's see. Hopefully, I get it. No. Yeah, I'm doing good. myself a little bit for real okay I think I'm good not sticking out too far I don't think honestly I don't like parallel parking but I don't like parallel parking when it's on the other side you know what I mean like when it's on the left side instead of the right I don't know it's, it's even more awkward for me but whatever it is what it is I'm inside as long as my car don't get hit I'm good Okay, so anyway, what was I saying? Um, my dogs, protection. Um, I think that was it. Oh, I'll show you guys his. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Let's see. There's Armani. I don't know if I can flip the camera. Maybe I can. No, I can't. I can't flip it while I'm recording. Okay, well, there's Armani. See, he's strapped in. He's wearing his seatbelt. And then there's Louis right down there. And Louis still needs a car seat, but yeah. Those are my babies. Right? You're my baby? You're my baby? My pup? You got laganias in your eyes. Look at those eye boogers. Okay, well, anyway, you guys. Um shit sorry okay so i'm gonna get i'm gonna get them out of the car and then um and then i'll be making my next video with my announcement finally finally shit i've been saying that like y'all are probably like oh like shit her announcement's been coming for the last couple of days okay this time for sure i'm about to do my announcement so i will be right back with the next video and See you in a bit.